Whoa, what the hell is going on here? What the heck happened here, man? There's nothing that we can take. I'm going. Whoop! Whoop, whoop, whoop. Yep, there we go, there we go. Just chillax, guys. Chill a little bit. This will put him down! <clears throat> Okay. What about if we go this way? <laughs> Will we find anything interesting here? Oh, so this is the I need cover. Maintenance records. Wait a second. FTL drive damaged and repaired with substandard parts. Risk of complete failure is elevated. Well, that's bad. Where are you guys? Right behind you. Clear. Just come over here, please. For a second. Oh, we got some... Uh... Okay, never mind. Never mind. Let's go. Let's go back up then. I'm going in! Got your back. With you. friend. Oh, 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 Merc transmitter, Merc transmitter, where the heck is it? I just... is it? Okay, never mind, it's that, that one over there. Uh, okay guys, let's continue th through here then. Engaging hostile. Whoa, what did you expect? What the hell happened here? Did you just... Oh, I think the... These are the um, the crew members. Oh my god! Did they just kill them like that? <sighs> I don't like this. I don't like this one bit. Security lockdown. Seek security console to override. What? Another security console. Um. Okay. So I take it we're just going to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Transmission relay console. Communication relay inoperative. Okay. There has to be a way in. Security console bypass. I don't want to do that yet, though. Can I just can I just go downstairs for a second, please? Because I I think we left something downstairs, and I really really want to check it out before we do anything. So, in here, there's this, but if we go through here, we haven't been through here. So that's what I want. Okay, okay. Holy crap, okay, they're there, never mind. shoot me so scrum that's it Kurtz heads up man those intruders are still alive and fright and fighting their way through the ship they have commander Shepard with them you better get your men ready to fight Bortis has something up its sleeve he's got that canister full of loot and I think he's planning to do something to Voorhis and take it to himself for himself wouldn't be surprised. Okay, so they're gonna just double cross each other. Uh, well, I'm okay with that. I don't really care about them. Engine room, main console, FTL drive, inoperative. Uh, okay, we got that. Power cells right here.
What am I missing here? I'm missing something, am I not? Engine main room, no. Okay then, so let's go back. So all I, I, all I was missing was some more uh, enemies, which I'm okay with. How do we get down from here, like, really? Heading to cover! Hey, come on. Oh, like, yeah, never mind. It's through here. <laughs> Jesus. I wanted to take that clip, but um, apparently we have enough bullets. Okay, let's proceed then. We have some doors to bypass. Um, the room here doesn't really matter, to be honest. Nope, not through here, through here. Uh, like so. Now. It was here, right? Yep, yes it was. Let's do this. Okay. Boom. Okay. That did it. Yes, it sure did. Uh, was there a? I, need cover. I think there was a door. Wait a second. There's a lot of a lot of these guys there, but mm, there was a door behind us here, which I really wanted to inspect. Can we go here first? Sorry about that. Because I don't know if if we go, like, just give me a second, I just want to see, yeah, so can we go here, oh no we can't, okay never mind, never mind, so the bypass thingy must be in that room there, then, I'm just saying, okay, so they know we're coming, so let's not keep them waiting, Whoop, wait a second. So what do we have here? We got this dude here, which yeah. And Okay. Can't target them. Can't get a lock. Can't reach the target. Down you go. My bad, there. We switch it up a little bit, just a little bit. Shields, huh? Not. Okay, wait a second. Like this and like this. I, got it. I think that's about it. Nope, it's not. Um, okay. I think that's it. What the hell? Where are they coming from? Like. You know what, boys and girls? Just get over here. 
I'm just waiting for you with this. Come on, get closer, please. Yeah, that's right. I can wait for you. Or not, let's not waste that ammo here. Got it. Start and clear. Ah, there's no way we can take them by surprise like that. It was uh, it was challenging. I liked it. Ship's main log. Of course, we're gonna check the ship's main log. No, uh, not this one. Sorry. I wanted to go with this one. This is the final entry for Captain Jared Barnes, skipper of the MSV Strontium Mule. If you're reading this. I and my crew are dead. Two weeks ago we answered a distress signal. It turned out to be a Blue Sun's trap. We managed to escape, but sustained heavy damage. Do not approach the coordinates in this log. If you find the canister in the cargo hold, you are welcome to its contents. The authorization codes are encrypted in this log. Authorization code decryption complete. Uh -huh. And so we need to go to the other side of the... Whoa, Merc transmitter... Or transmitter. Bortis, your men better be ready. I hear the intruders making their way here, and you better be ready with backup. The captain was not forthcoming with information, but I found his codes in the ship's black box. We'll get the canister open, but first we have to kill these intruders. Okay. Well, you failed at that, so yeah. Let's uh, go get ourselves a canister. I believe it's this way, right? I mean, it should be this way. It's either to the left or to the right. Um, yeah, it's here. Merc transmitter. Jakir, this is it. Get your men under control and ready to move. The intruders are the key. Once they hit the bridge, Vorhez will call for us. Do not answer. The intruders will take him out of out for us and we'll get the codes to hit to this canisters ourselves shit at that point take out anyone on your list the fewer men left the bigger the prize for each of us sergeant Bortis. crap taking cover don't tell me we helped them basically to we helped them to get away with the freaking thing or interstellar currency oh that's it did so I don't, I don't get it. Did we help them to get away with, uh, with the canister or not? Hell, what is this? Um, shit, nope. Mm, come on, this is it. What is this now? This looks interesting. Heavy skin weave. Hello, hello. I like that. Okay then. So that's it. Right? Yep, that's it. Okay, let's return to the Normandy. So what did we recover exactly? I don't get it. I thought that from like from reading that message, I got the feeling that 
the mercs actually got away with uh, with the goods because they relied like uh, they relied on us to kill their commander I don't okay maybe maybe I misunderstood there so recovered sensitive Intel service upload commencing defeat defeated blue suns prevented looting of for of disabled freighter MSV strontium mule recovered substantial payload from MSV strontium mule okay 125 experience heavy skin weave I got some credits, Iridium, and that's about it. That's awesome. Blood Pack mercenaries are relentless bands of Krogan, Vorcha, and Varen. Yeah, they uh, they were. Because <laughs> we took care of some of them. Okay. Let's see, is Kenny gonna... Yeah. Commander, you've received a new message at your private Is terminal. Kelly gonna tell us that? That's what I wanted to ask. And she is. Unread messages. Blue Sun's ambush site detected. What? We've started going through that intel. Fine work, by the way. And we've discovered the location of the base where the strontium mule fell into the Blue Sun's trap. The Blue Suns are indeed using, indeed using false district signals to lure merchant freighters near their base with the intent of capturing and raiding those vessels. If you can get out there and shut down their beacon, it'll save a lot of merchants a lot of distress. It'll also strike a blow to the Blue Suns as a whole. The base is on the on uh, planet Sanctum Decorus System Sigurd's Cradle. We've uploaded coordinates to the Galaxy map. Okay then, so we're gonna have a third mission here. But before we do that, uh, I just want to go ahead and do the research. Uh, skin weave. Oh crap, and we can do this now because we have a bunch of stuff. So, yeah, research this. Boom. Nice. And then, heavy skin weave, strong synthetic fibers can be woven through the skin, dramatically reducing damage taken from most attacks. These fibers also act as metagel conduit, improving healing plus 40% health for Shepard. I can't, can't say no to that. Okay, uh, let's have a conversation with Thane a little bit. Let's see if he has anything else he'd like to tell us. Or, or just a second, let's have a chat with Kelly here. How may I help you, Commander? Is there anything I should know? Nothing right now. Anything else, Commander? There hasn't been anything. Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. Duh, duh, duh. Nothing. Okay, never mind. I better go. Okay. Thank you. Maybe we'll talk Maybe, later. Kelly, maybe. What? Hopefully you'll have some information about the crew, because you've been studying them for, like, a long time. Um, let's see here. Thane, my friend. How are you today? Do you need something? Have a few minutes to talk. Very well. I am. I had been recording a message for oh. Kolyat. How are nice. things going with him? It is difficult. All things worth keeping are. I never explained. I suppose the story of my wife's death took you by surprise. Uh, I couldn't wait if that's, like, um, something you don't want to talk about right now. I figured you'd explain to me when you were ready. I appreciate your patience. I kept my work clear of our home life. I assumed that would be enough to protect Erika. That memory I mentioned before. Lakes are not trembles on the target's skull. The smell of spice on a spring wind. Oh crap, it's her. In the scope. Don't tell me it's her. That was Erika. That was how I Shit. met her. She saw my targeting laser as she walked by and threw herself in the way. Why? I guess she impressed you. She woke me up. Her body trembles. Not fear. Indignation. Her mouth moves. How dare you? <laughs> you wow. and I trained to sacrifice ourselves to save others. How often does a civilian step in the way of a bullet to protect someone they've never met? I thought she was the goddess Hirashu. She met my eyes through the scope, and my purpose faltered. So how did she go from blocking your shot to having exactly. your children? Exactly, how do you go from I had to meet her. The memory possessed and endowed me. I fell on my knees before her, begged her pardon. She introduced me to the world beyond my work. 
Eventually, she forgave me. Later, she loved me. Okay, so what happened to her? When you talked to Cole yet, you said she died. I let myself become complacent. I thought Erika and Kolyat were safe. I stayed away too long, and my enemies came Who for came her. Who came for her? Who came for her? Batarians. A slaver ring that was preying on Hanar out her colonies. I'd killed their leaders. They paid the Shadow Broker to find out who I was. But they were afraid of me. So they went after her. You told Kolyat that you hunted her killers down. Erika woke me up. When she passed, I returned to my battle sleep. My body hunted her killers, murdered them. I was taught to grant death quickly, cleanly, to minimize suffering. Them. I let them linger. Yeah, I think I, I can understand that. I don't blame you. They killed innocents to get to you. For you and me, death is business. For people like them, it is sport. I haven't spoken about my wife and... I don't think I ever have. I didn't have anyone left to tell it to. Thane, the worst thing is to face death with regrets. You're part of my crew, and I consider you a friend. If there's anything I can help you with, just ask. I've never been part of a team. Assassins tend to be solitary. I'm learning the virtues of facing death with others at your side. It's a work in progress. Cool. Okay. Well, that was nice. Uh, okay. Well, I think it's time for us to maybe have a little chat with everybody. Everybody else, as in um, Miranda and Jack, probably. So, let's see here. Commander, what can I do for you? You have a minute, Miranda? Of course. I've been meaning to speak with you, in fact. I wanted to apologize. I didn't fully believe you'd be up to the task, and it seems I was wrong. Frankly, based on what I've seen, I wish Cerberus had recruited you earlier. Uh, okay. I trust you, but I don't trust Cerberus. Your experiments crossed a line. All the time, yes. But I recall a Spectre who crossed a few lines while hunting down Saren and the Geth, and we'd be lucky to have you. Too many join us out of simple xenophobia. We need more people here for the right reasons. Yeah, but I, I saw your uh, monsters and yeah, and what about Jack as well? What was Cerberus trying to prove by experimenting on children like Jack? A mistake, no question. Not mine. And one that was corrected once we discovered the extent of the experiments being performed. Yeah, but you were experimenting with other species as well. I mean, Cerberus was not you per se. I saw your faces years ago. You were using exactly. Rachni, Thorian creepers, even husks to make your exactly. own army. The husks were already dead, the Thorian creatures were mindless, and the Rachni were abandoned once we understood their intelligence. We weren't breeding an army, we were breeding expendable shock troops for high-risk scenarios. How many soldiers died in Saren's attack on Eden Prime? How many would have lived if we'd had just a dozen Rachni soldiers on our side? Hmm. I don't know what to say about that. With your intelligence, you could have landed any job you wanted. Why choose this? Because I still envy the time Morden spent with the special tasks group, working with people as smart as he was. Cerberus never tells me that something is impossible. They give me my resources and say do it. And they've given you even more. A new life, a new ship, the elusive man's personal attention. Um... Are you jealous or something? What? You disapprove? No. I'm just impressed. Mm hmm. You're... well, look at you. A spacer kid, educated with on-ship tutorials, no strong foundation for stability. Where is this, uh... What are you getting at? And you've done more than I could. Despite everything my father did to make me perfect, you're... you're the best humanity has to offer. Again with the... with the perfect thing from, like, the perfect woman? Does it always have to come back to your father's genetic <laughs> exactly. tailoring? This is what I am, Shepard. I can't hide it. The intelligence, the looks, even the biotics. He paid for all of that. 
Every one of your accomplishments is due to your skill. The only things I can take credit for are my mistakes. So what are you, jealous or something? I mean, I don't know. I don't know if she's jealous or not. I think maybe she's a little bit disappointed of the fact that she was created to be like this perfect, um, whatever, human being. And then, you know, Shepard comes along and does what we did. And uh, it's quite impressive. I have to say, come on, let's not be modest here. <laughs> but... Um, Wait a minute. Are you jealous? <laughs> Don't be absurd. The genetic mutt that the elusive man put in charge. That must uh -oh. sting. First, it's not a competition. Second, based on your combat records, you're practically a perfect bloody human specimen. Okay. I see where this is going. Oh, man. <laughs> uh, I don't know, guys. I, I, I really don't know if... <laughs> if I'd want to do... If I want to pursue anything with Miranda or not. Um, I don't know. I don't know what to say. Ah, crap. Okay, I'm going to go with, uh, with the apologize uh, option for now. <laughs> although, although, kissing her would be interesting, I think. Would, would, I think we would catch her off guard with that. Then again, we've been kind of playing this cat and mouse game with, uh, with Jack as well. Um... I don't really want to lead both of them on like that. <laughs> I don't know. Ah, oh, the temptation is so like. <laughs> uh, no, no, I'm going to do the right thing here, or the right thing in my perspective, which is uh, I'm going to go for this answer with this answer. I'm sorry. I know the mission comes first, and I'm glad we can work together. As am I, Commander. And it's most definitely not a competition. I'm proud to serve with you. I should get back to work, but thank you for coming yeah, by. Yeah, no problem. Okay, well, dodge that bullet. Yeah, like I said, I'm not, I'm not convinced to be honest. Um, this time around, I don't know. If I would be honest. Um, and I would put myself in uh, in Shepard's shoes. Neither Miranda or nor Jack are like uh, Shepard's type. Let's say, let's put it this way. Um, I would lean more towards Miranda, though, because I think Jack is a little bit too unstable. And um, the thing is with Jack. Like, she puts on this uh, facade, uh, but, like, even if we break down the wall, I think she's a little bit kind of unstable for for Shepard. I don't know. That's my take on it. But let's have a chat with her. Hey. Okay, really, this is the option? <laughs> we need to discuss our relationship. I said I want to think about everything. I just... You know what it's like to think you're alone and find out you're not? Pretty much, yeah. You don't have to agree so fast, you fucker. <laughs> oh man, are we in this point really? If you need to think, I can wait. For a while. I just... this is so strange for me, and you just keep pushing. What am I supposed to do with that? You're weird, I'm not pushing. Shepherd. That kind of gets okay. me Okay. Okay. This is not really what I w was expecting, to be honest. Uh, see, the thing, the thing is, I'm not, I'm not really, like I said, uh, into any of the two, um, and I'm afraid that if we reject Jack. Because now we got to this point, and I'm presuming, like, next time we're going to talk to her, she's going to, I don't know, maybe say something more, and hopefully we'll have a, like, we'll have a choice to, to let her down gently, because, like I said, I don't really plan on pursuing anything with either 
Miranda or Jack. And I know maybe some of you were expecting, you know, uh, to have something um, going on between maybe uh, Shepard and Jack or Miranda or even Tully. But I just don't feel it. I actually truly don't feel it. And to be totally honest, um, the way the story went uh, so far for me in, in the two games, I still think that Liara is the best fit for my Shepard, for Rusty Shepard. Um, and I didn't want to push it with her uh, now. And I don't really know. I mean, I understand that we can... You know, do something about it in the in the next uh, in the next game, so to say. Um, but in this one, like like I said, I didn't really feel that type of a connection with anybody else. Um, in the first game, I think um, Ashley and Liara were a little bit more. I don't know. Obvious choices in this one. It's hard to say. It's hard to say, um, and yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd rather just end up not choosing anyone for this one and just going like that because I think that's a better fit for for Rusty's story here. So let's have a chat with Tali here. Although I think she is just going to tell us about her mission. Whenever yeah, we see? have time, I've gotten the migrant fleet's location. Yeah. I'll get back to okay, you, Tali. Talk to you later. Okay. Yeah, and, and Tally, on the other hand, um, Tally is like, the way I feel about Tally as a character and the relationship that Shepard has with her is more of a brother and sister type of relationship. Um, I mean, that's how I see it. That's how I see it, guys. Uh, let me just do one more thing and then I'm, I'm just going to cut the episode. I want to check out the fishes. The fishes are still alive. The, all the little fishes, that's what I want to say. The fish are still alive. I know fish is the correct term. So the fish are still alive. Where is the hamster though? What is this? What is this? Oh, we have this. Uh, okay, it didn't do anything. We also have our helmet here. Nice. Okay. Uh, where is the little hamster? Didn't we have a hamster? Oh, check this out. We have no more pictures. That's interesting. There's the hamster. Hey there. Whoa. And we, I didn't... Whoa, we have a toilet. I didn't even see the toilet. <laughs> and we can use the toilet? What? I'm going to do this now. Nothing happens. Come on, Shepard. Need some privacy? Never mind. Never mind. Got everybody looking at you. You don't want to, you know, do that in front of everybody. The little hamster is a little bit afraid of us, and it looks like a rat more than a hamster, but... Oh well, okay. Okie dokie, guys. Uh, I think I'm gonna cut this episode here for now. Uh, although... One second. One more, one more person that I'd like to have a chat with is uh, Mr. Garrus. We had that interesting uh, story he told us uh, the last time we we spoke to him interesting it, it was more of a fun story um, and it, it was more of a personal Garrus story than anything else which I liked so let's see Shepard need me for something have you got a minute can it wait for a bit I'm in the middle of some really you're back to that huh okay okay Garrus talk to you later cool. Garrus I'll be here if you I need. presume that uh, we have spoken everything we had to speak about uh, Garrus. So, okay. Well, like I said, I'm going to cut this episode here, and I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please give a like. If you didn't, give a dislike. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. And uh, thank you again for all your support. And I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye.